Hello, hello, hello. Hope everybody's fine, washing your hands and uh, staying safe. So I just wanted to quickly talk about this in front of me. I was, um, I don't have a laptop and uh, for a project I was needing uh, Windows. Um, I do have Windows at home, uh, but uh, anyway, so I was needing um, uh, Windows and uh, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I went on to Sook.com, which is now Amazon SA, uh, and um, my budget was certainly under 1000 um, if possible less. And I came across um, this. This is the uh, Z Air X which um just let me fix this a wee bit which came in just around 900 reals okay so um pretty cheap and of course it's not very highly specced this um has uh intel seller on and it says up to 2.4 gigahertz speed and god knows about that only has 4 gb of ram and 120 um, uh, GB uh, SSD you can put in a uh, memory card in 13.3 inch uh, full HD screen and uh, I just wanted to talk about it to, to, to see if it was um, anybody was planning to buy it because I couldn't see many YouTube uh, reviews about this online. So um, I actually thought that this company iLife, which made it the Z Air X, I'm going to show you this because it's, kind of, it's pretty thin. Um, and you know, I mean, uh, I didn't want the grey, I didn't want the gold colour, I actually wanted to think it was the grey one, but they didn't have it. So <clears throat> I think the grey one would have looked better. It has um, two uh, USB A. Um, HDMI, USB-C and headphone jack um, and look for the price it is uh, not too bad okay so anybody who's familiar with Windows and and, um, or, and even seen some of my reviews in the past actually Windows 10 can run reasonably well on relatively uh, low tech uh, low spec should I say um, stuff uh, i had that windows tablet that only had 2 gb of ram and really it, it worked fine so uh, for my needs which were primarily just word processing and some internet it, it worked uh, really um it's worked really uh, pretty decently uh, so i'm uh, kept it very basic with the what is um i installed it comes with of course office that you can subscribe to. I installed um, uh, LibreOffice and uh, <clears throat> just to give you an idea um, uh, how quickly or slowly it, it takes to start up. Um, look, it's not a speed demon but it, it wasn't um, bought for the purposes of uh, anything else other than, as I said, some uh, word processing and uh, the internet and for that it has done really well now the the screen's full hd screen and i think it's really good i mean it's better that's an lcd and it's better than um uh, a lot of these uh, more, the, the resolution on more expensive um laptops was uh, less so uh you know for that purpose i'm definitely fine so there you saw how long it took to open up um uh, LibreOffice and look um, again <clears throat> it's purely um, you could basically say this was a fancier um, netbook but really once it is open you can see and I'll try and show you the profile here um, I mean it's actually not a bad looking uh, piece of kit I mean it's it's pretty thin um, the heaviest actually seems to be the the uh, LCD screen. Um, I just think if I'd got the grayer color looks wise, uh, it, I, it certainly would have um, suited me um, better. So I'll open up a, a Word document there or a LibreOffice document. 
Now, um, I had no problems updating and uh, uh, connecting to my, uh, various uh, internets. Bluetooth is working fine because I'm, I've been using uh, via this uh, Abraham Tech uh, Bluetooth speaker uh, because the it does have onboard speakers, but the speakers are um, really pretty um, terrible. So uh, I really just use them if you have no other choice. Of course, you can use your um, uh, the headphone jack and, and listen uh, via headphones or uh, use your uh, Bluetooth. Um, that's what I would advise because uh, uh, if you were watching a movie or something you're really not going to find it that enjoyable through these um, speakers uh, I, and again I watched um, I think so let me show you because it does have a if I can remember it did have a uh, see I've kept this really um, with nothing it had a video on it if I remember or maybe it, I deleted it um yeah, I think maybe I deleted it, but it did have a, a sample um, video, which um, I thought I kept. Let me see, camera roll. Let's see if there's anything. I don't even know what camera roll is. Um, but I, I watched. That's empty, and oh, that's empty. So it's um, no, I don't have it. Unfortunately, it had a sample um, video which uh, I, I thought made. It looked really uh, pretty good. Uh, look, again, for watching movies, uh, if you are um, uh, using this purely for for that, the Celeron processor and 4 GB of RAM is uh, more than adequate. Of course, you can connect it to your um, HDMI um, to your um, uh, TV and um, you uh, it, it can be a kind of mobile entertainment um, so it's for for that purposes I think it, it worked uh, really uh, pretty uh, decently and let me see if there's anything here that I need to talk about well, there's video editor here that's what I meant to look at um, so uh, I'll let it open it up here um, and you see it opens up re relatively um, quickly I don't have any video to import but it has a, a, a video editor there for uh, use um, trackpad is fine it's not the most um, sensitive of um, uh, trackpads but again if you're looking at that price 900 uh, reals you uh, obviously your expectations should be uh, managed now of course you can buy branded uh, um, a branded laptop of the same specification um, but they tend to be kind of look really pretty old-fashioned and um, this one kind of had a more svelte look that's obviously copying like a MacBook Air but not um, as light uh, I'll just show you the back here and the only thing that you can change, it was pretty handy actually, is you can um, un unscrew this uh, and you can update the SSD. Uh, so you could basically, whatever uh, a storage uh, uh, takes your fancy and it's easy enough to do. The only thing being of course is that you need to clone the OS, uh, whatever, but that's not difficult and really even an idiot like me can do it so I would um, uh, anybody looking at this brand it's something to keep in mind especially if you were going to be um, having media etc stored on it it's, and it, these SSDs are pretty cheap actually so uh, now the company iLife I thought they were Indian for some reason I'm not sure why I thought they were an, an Indian company but anyway it turns out that they're a Floridian company so they're an American company and I suppose everything is made in uh, in they do tablets and phones I have seen uh, and f uh, for the most part I mean the build quality is pretty solid I mean it's heavy but it's better than I expected and when I'm not seeing the gold when I'm not seeing that uh, gold color on the outside Actually, looking at it from here is 
it looks more expensive than it, than it actually was. Of course, I on here I put um, <coughs> for a, a mouse, wireless mouse, and it, it has been um, totally, totally fine uh, for me to use. Now let me just give you an idea of um, so opening up Excel, how quickly that is. Uh, again, don't be holding your breath. But once it is open, it's uh, there's been there was no uh, issues at all. Um, so blank workbook. There you go. It was fine. So somebody looking for a relatively inexpensive uh, laptop, especially now where, uh, of course, in the um, months of Corona, where we are looking at doing a lot of uh, schooling online, uh, and your kid is asking for their own laptop, and you do not want to be spending thousands on some fancy laptop that you don't really need other than for the most basics it's definitely worth a consideration okay you buy it from um, uh, Sook or Amazon now uh, of course uh, you'll have the their warranty etc so I mean I wouldn't be too um, worried about that I'll just close this I know with um, uh, kind of unknown brands we're always concerned about the war uh, or the reliability but it's really not got much to break to be honest with you it's pretty basic inside um so uh, uh i wouldn't be too uh, worried about this and just fyi it will open but i'm not connected to the internet uh, this i've been using uh microsoft edge a lot on my home theater pc um on the mobile and i was using it on this I know, excuse me. Oh. Um, Sunday morning's not my best. Uh, the I think it's good. People should give it a try. It's a lot better than it used to be, and it has some um, nice uh, bits too. And seemingly, I can't tell you one hundred percent, but they said that it is more um, uh, frugal when it comes to eating resources on your. Uh, devices than uh, Chrome, so Microsoft Edge definitely worth a look uh, if you haven't tried it. So yeah, I mean that's about it. That is the, uh, the um, as I say, the reason I had bought it was for pretty, uh, and it worked fine for what I needed. Now I'm having another project, and I do so need something with a wee bit more uh, bite to it, and this is going to be sold and I'm hoping I'm going to get myself something a wee bit more upmarket which I'm going to have to keep a bit long term uh, but this was the ZX uh, the Z Air X 13.3 Celeron uh, uh, laptop by iLife and in the days of online classes and your budget is limited um, just let me show you there's where the S uh, SD card etc is um, it has a proprietary uh, charger uh, one of these you know pin uh, chargers but anyway look there you go it's fine and um, it looks all right for that money so for me it did my uh, job well the fuck? thank you and uh, good night <laughs>